I just received the Intel Arc 380 graphics card made by ASRock uh, from Newegg today. And let's take a look what's inside. I'm not planning to get a GPU really, but uh, when I saw that Newegg had them for $140, I had to check it out. So this is what the packaging looks like. Intel Arc A380, Challenger ITX, that's their model number. Serial number, part number, graphics. It's a mini ITX form factor. Pretty nondescript packaging. Open it up. No uh, drivers. Oh, a little bit of a manual inside. Quick installation guide, okay. It does require an 8 pin power connector. Doesn't look any different than any other entry-level graphics cards, really. But uh, one special thing about this thing, or a couple of special things, is that this is probably the first consumer-grade GPU in the world with the AV1 hardware encoder and decoder built in. This thing costs only $140, and it also has eight uh, ray tracing units. I'm not a gamer, so I will not be able to uh, comment on the game performance, but I will run some benchmarks. Let's get this installed and see how it performs. So just finished running the graphics benchmark using Passmark performance test. As you can see, the GPU score is um, 41 percent not that great but this is an entry-level card scored 4665 which is in line with the GTX 1050 however the DirectX 12 and the GPU compute results are in line with the uh, RX 6400 from AMD 29 frames per second exactly the same for DirectX 12 DirectX 9, 10, and 11 performance are quite a bit lower compared to the RX 6400. GPU compute, 30 to 25, 30 to 28 again, very, very comparable to the AMD RX 6400. The RX 6400 is um, $20 more, the, if that matters um, for a graphics card. Uh, but overall, um, I believe for my purposes, uh, for $140, the ARC 380 uh, will be sufficient.